A down day on Wall Street, but Monday's close ended the best October for the Standard & Poor's average in nearly 30 years. This October, the S&P 500 gained 10.7 percent, which was the best October since 1982, the beginning of the secular bull market from 82 until 2000. So certainly we're in good company. The day's decline was the result of MF Global filing for bankruptcy protection. Last week, the company's debt was downgraded to junk on concerns about its holdings of European debt. Bank stocks fell on that news, with Citigroup plummeting 7.5%. Bank of America dived just over 7%. But concerns over banks weren't the only things traders were focused on. I think that the reason why we declined on the very last day of trading was because some people wanted to be able to lock in some gains for the month, but at the same time there continues to be lingering doubts about the uh, success or potential success of the European debt crisis. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 276 points, 2.3 percent, to close at 11,955. The S&P 500 fell 32, 2.5 to 1,253, while the Nasdaq fell 53, 1.9 percent, to 2,684. In addition to the October milestone, the S&P 500 also chalked up its best month since December 1991. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.